If you looked at the results of the 250 Supercross East opener from Arlington, Texas, Monster Energy Supercross, you would think, oh, Zach Osborne won. What a shock. Yeah, it was not a predictable night at all. So let's review round seven and round one of that series. It's all brought to you by RacerXBrand.com. You can get hats, you can get water bottles, shirts, hoodies, uh, even some cool backpacks. I swear by my backpack. Go to RacerXBrand.com for more on that. So yeah, Osborne wins. But this was the night of Martin Davalos. Maybe it was going to finally be the year of Martin Davalos. Marty, fastest in all three practice sessions dominates his heat race and then doesn't blow the start in the main. No, he had a great start. He was headed toward the whole shot. And you know what comes next. Anytime things are finally headed the right way for Martin Davalos, disaster strikes. He gets clipped by Jordan Smith and Josh Osby on the inside as he tried to finish them off in the first turn and officially seal that whole shot. He went flying so bad that his goggles and helmet visor basically exploded off of him. And yes, Davalos goes from fastest in practice to dominating a heat to not even completing one lap of the main event. That is as Martin Davalos as Martin Davalos can get. Sigh, bummer, heartbreak. And that huge first turn crash claimed so many riders that RJ Hampshire found himself uh, hole shotting and leading a race for the first time in his Supercross career. Picked a bad night for that because RJ admitted he just wasn't riding well. Didn't feel good in practice and didn't even feel good while he was leading. So there's Hampshire trying to win his first ever main event on a night where he just didn't feel that great. Uh, said the way the track dried out. I think everyone, by the way, was a little confused because this dirt was fairly tacky where Dallas last year was unbelievably hard packed and slick. So they were all struggling to a degree based on their bike setup and expectations. Hampshire was struggling, but he had a nice lead because Osborne, who managed to avoid that first turn crash, then crashed on his own. And Zach just said he wasn't feeling it all day. He just was almost not nervous enough, not pumped up enough. But the crash actually set the fire underneath him. He got going. He eventually was able to get around Sean Cantrell, who was really impressive in his first ever Supercross running second. Then he passed Hampshire and was able to get into the lead. So, yes, if you look at the results, it was a win for the 1E. But that's not really the way it looked out there. Davalos and also Dylan Ferrandis, they look to be the fastest guys out here. They're both victims of first-turn crashes, which just reminds us once again, in the short 250 series, disaster <laughs> can be huge. One little mistake is multiplied when you only have a few races to make up ground on the points. And that's a lesson Osborne learned big time last year. Let's see if Davalos, Ferrandis, or someone else could dig themselves out of a hole this time.